the sidelines to the film room These are stories that you hear if you stay tuned They don't let you in the league, you gotta make room On the gridiron is where your dreams come true We grow hard in the city of angels From the gridiron to mic, real stories you ain't new You heard it through the vine and it probably ain't true I only got to where I'm at, doing shit that you can't do Two storytellers Peace and blessings, welcome to the show My name is Hamza Abdullah, this is Matt Ware With Gridiron Grills Gridiron football, grills, storytellers Gridiron Grills Grills football storytellers, you get the picture. Before we get into the stories, let me introduce you to the Grills. My name is Hamza Abdullah, retired NFL vet. 2011 was my last year, played with the Arizona Cardinals. Before that, I was a member of the Denver Broncos, the Cleveland Browns, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Before I was drafted into NFL, seventh round draft pick out of Washington State University, go Cougs. I played my high school football at Pomona High School in California. But you can't say high school football in California without mentioning the man to my right, Matt Ware. Matt Ware, Loyola star, Loyola High School out of LA, star All-American in high school, went on to star at UCLA, freshman All-American, bald, shoot man, you, how many picks did you have your freshman year? Five or six picks. Five or six picks as a freshman, true freshman, one of the first freshmen to do that in UCLA's history. Then went on to be drafted in the third round by the Philadelphia Eagles. Rookie year, went to the Super Bowl against the Patriots, played a few years with the Eagles, then moved to the desert with the Arizona Cardinals, Bird Gang, then went to the Super Bowl 2008 versus Pittsburgh Steelers. Also drafted in the MLB draft by the Seattle Mariners. So my dog's been around, man. We've seen some great things. We've been around great players, great teammates, great opponents, great coaches, all makes up for great experiences and great stories. Wayne Gretzky says in his book, 99 Stories of the Game, greatness is not captured in statistics. Greatness is captured in stories. So let's get to the stories. Matt, what's up, baby? Hey, bro. I appreciate the intro, man. And all that intro leads me into something real physical, bro. Oh, oh no. Extremely physical. You know, being out here in Arizona, man, there's a lot of retired players that yeah. live out here. Well, just the other day, man, I was going to get some treatment on my back, you know, get, get, get realigned. He has a big back, people. <laughs> get realigned, get my neck adjusted, X, Y, Z. So... I opened the door to the uh, chiropractor and I, I looked to my right and I immediately closed the door. Oh no, you must have saw the boogeyman. Bro, I immediately closed the door because whatever he was getting, I did not want any part None. of that. None. And just in case he still remember me, I didn't want any part of that either. Oh, no, the boogeyman keeps receipts. So I, I got right back in the car, drove home. My wife was like, hey, <laughs> oh, I, thought, no. I thought you were going to get adjusted today. What's what going on? Not today. I'm good. I'll go get this ice pack and lay right here on this couch. That's all the treatment I need. That's all I need. Because I, I remember them bruises. Oh, do I remember them bruises. Bro, you remember how it was being second team, you know what I'm saying, in the preseason games. Every once in a while, you went up against a cat that you were like, why is he playing on the second team? Why oh, is he on no. the second team? Why is he out here? And why is he so angry? Angry? Why is he so angry? So, angry NFL player usually means he's not starting. Okay, so the backups are usually angry. Was he angry or angry, angry? Oh, he was furious. Okay, now if you're furious, that means you're an undrafted free agent. <laughs> so was he an undrafted free agent? Yeah, he was an undrafted free agent and I had no idea why. And I went back and I found some little statistics on this man. Whoa, 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 whoa. The boogeyman, undrafted free agent. Was he a running back? Oh, uh, and he loved playing running back. <laughs> Oh no! He loved playing running back. Was he a big running back? Here we go. This young man was born December 5th, <laughs> 1986. Oh, it was a In good Madison, year. Florida. Six foot, 250 pounds. Let me say it again. Six foot, 250 pounds. There's not too many running backs that are that big, people. There's not too many. Six foot, 250, undrafted free agent. And we played against him. Oh yeah. And he went to a school that had many, many, many uniforms. And they had Real bright, shiny uniforms that had a big O on that helmet. Oh no, that's what that O stood for. If you was trying to tackle this man. Oh no. AKA LeGarrette Blunt. I'm gonna give it to you. However you want it. Oh, you want it inside, you want it outside. You want it around the back or in the driveway. I got it all. Oh, oh it did he. All. So, bro, you know what man? You were there with me, bro. You can go ahead, go oh, ahead. Oh, stop him out, Debo. Go ahead, bro, give it to him. Give it to him. So you didn't pass the mic to me. I'm passing the mic, bro, because I I said what I had to say. Oh no, Weez. No, not me. Yeah, you. Two, three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can get some of this. So Legarrette Blunt, we're 
playing t in Tennessee. So we practiced with them the whole week leading up. So in practice, you know, when you do training camp practices against other teams, you're not really hitting. So LeGarrette Blunt, I don't even know if he practiced that much because that's not what he does, people. I want to get physical. Game oh, time. he's like a 14-year-old coming over to see your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to get physical. Oh, and there ain't nothing you can do to stop him from getting physical. Zero. So we come down to Tennessee again throughout the week. We're not really physical. We got shorts and shoulder pads. We running around, everybody high-fiving. Uncle. But come Saturday night, oh, LeGarrette Blunt was in that wife beater. Oh, and he had a little bit too much to drink that night. <laughs> so he was about to get real physical. Oh, and don't you try to call that 1-800 number. Oh, this violence is legal. <laughs> oh, it's legal. Oh, oh, it's so legal. Matter of fact, it's so legal, you signed up and you get paid oh, for getting beat. Oh. What's that preseason check look like, bro? Not enough. Not enough. It's not enough to get you and your family to a shelter. Oh. Oh, because it's about to get real physical. Oh, so LeGarrette Blunt, he comes in, I think it was the second half of the game. Number one, I'm like, why is this dude playing in the second half of a preseason game? So this dude comes in, and everyone's like, oh, they got that new running back. So I, you know, I'm not a small guy, but I'm not a very big guy. And I don't really go low. I wasn't a guy that went low. Like, I, I like contact, too. That's fast. But not that contact. Oh, he saw me. He said, oh, you. I know you like contact. So I'm going to do what no one has ever done to you. I'm going to jump over you. Wait a minute. Hold on, bro. You telling me that someone who's six foot tall, 250 pounds, jumped over you? Bro, like he was Carl Lewis in the games, bro. Bro, not only did he jump over me, he like posed as he did it. Like he knew he was doing it like, ha! Bro, he hit me with that. And then the cool part about it was he jumped over me and kept running. And it wasn't like I was really trying to go low. Like I was trying to hit him. And this cat literally just leaped over me. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, bro, how did you just do that? And he just runs, then he gets out of bounds. And then we get to the sideline and oh my gosh. All the starters is a Kiki and laughing. Oh, Hamza got jumped over. Oh my God, did y'all see it? Hey, Matt, hey, did you see Hamza get left? Did you see him? Wasn't funny to me. Oh, no, no, no. Wasn't funny to me. Oh, it wasn't funny to them a few weeks later. Oh, what happened, bro? Oh, see, Tennessee, for some reason, they cut him, right? They cut LeGarrette like Blount, the dude that was out there jumping over people. So remember, he was angry, he was angry, angry, and then he was furious. But then after you get cut, oh, no. Oh, he like a teething toddler. <laughs> oh, they had to see him. He went down to Tampa Bay. They said, oh, yeah, you can come here. Oh, and guess who Tampa Bay played a few weeks later? Mm. Mm. And this is where you go. Oh, man. I, I, this is like the first time that i ever been happy to be on the sidelines, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> this is the first time i ever been happy to be on the sidelines. They were giving that young man the ball, and everything that he was doing against all them dudes getting minimum wage yeah. in the league? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Them cats that was getting seven mil in that back, that back end. You can get yeah. it, too. Yeah. You were getting jumped over, too. <laughs> You're getting ran over, too. Yeah. Oh, what bro. about the cast that was a key kid and laughing? Oh, when they came over the sideline, was they laughing, bro? No, they wasn't laughing. I can tell you who was. <laughs> two, two, <laughs> and two, three. Yeah, because it, it was our time to get our little jolly, jolly oh, yeah. time in. Oh, yeah, because remember, it was funny when it was happening to us, but then now that the rabbit got the gun, oh, he was oh. blasting too. Oh, oh, he was bucking. What? Hop, hop, <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Oh, he was giving him that word. He gave him 100. Did he give him 150? He gave him 101 play. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Yeah, no, 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 no. LeGarrette Blunt. <laughs> hey, the same LeGarrette Blunt that was out there knocking out teeth yeah. was out there knocking people down, too. Yeah. Knocking pads down. Yeah. Jumping over people. Yeah. Hey, this cat was real. Yeah, all that. Super Bowl champion with the Eagles. Yep. Super Bowl champion with the Patriots. Yep. Hey, official. When you go back in your little in your little timestamp, make sure you check out Laguerre Blunt. Yeah. This dude was a monster. A monster. And there was not not too many cats built like that. No, 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 no. Monster, beast, Laguerre Blunt. Bro, we got the stories, man. That's a hell of a story, man.
I'm enjoying the stories. I know you're enjoying the stories. So if you're enjoying it, share with your friends, share with your family, share with your network. Like, comment, subscribe, follow. Do everything you can do to pump it up, man. Let everyone know that you what you heard. LeGarrette Plunt, man, that dude's a beast. Subscribe to the podcast. Give us five-star rating. If you only give us a four-star, like Bomani Jones says in the Right Time podcast, if you only give us four stars, I'm inclined to think you're a hater. I don't think you're a hater. We don't hang out with haters. Give us a five-star rating. Gridiron Grills on all your social platforms. Subscribe. Peace and love, baby. Two storytellers got together but came lit. Brothers on the gridiron and still haven't changed since. Now it's day time, all the rest going take six. Relax and unwind, cause it's a lot to just take in. Uh huh. Fourth quarter sidelines to the film room. These are stories that you hear if you stay tuned. They don't let you in the league, you gotta make room. On the grid-